So, it's been a little while. You know, not for the YouTube viewers, but like for me, it has. When, what was her name? Uh, Lucy. I wanted to say Julie, and then I wanted to say Susie, and neither of those were that. <laughs> when we finished Lucy's chapter, we got a videotape. But I also believe we can do this mysterious Rakan guy that I know literally nothing about. And I know nothing about the tape anyway, but that's just kind of where the game's pointing me. Right, we still have the camera. Which I don't reckon I'm going to need. How do I... It's going to disappear and go to the... Uh... There's a candle here. Uh... Okay. Have I forgotten? Can I not just... Oh, I can't. My inventory's full. That's okay. Um... I forgot how jank this game was. Okay, so there we got Lucy Jaw. We're done with that. I believe there's three other chapters. Um, we can actually... Just for the sake of it, why not, right? Goodness. Yeah, I forgot how, like, not good this is. Hey. Hey, 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 hey take it easy. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> okay, well... Fuck, man. Oh, we also know... Now, actually, hold on. So it does. Let me see if I can figure this out. Maybe I'm just dumb? No. Okay, so right-click does nothing. We do have to double-click the doors to open them, but not to close them. No, it actually is... That was goofing me up because we're on simple controls. Like, that. even though I swing it, that counts as one click. So swinging actually does nothing because I'm on simple mode. There we go. But now that we know that, we should be good to go. So I do have the tape. Examine. Ride. Um, we should be able to play this in the living room, yeah? It's been a little while, that's for sure. Um, I can go both ways, I guess. It's actually dark as a motherfucker in here. Yeah, we don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. Can I turn this on? Oh. That's just nice, isn't it? Uh, I kind of want to get some lights in here, but... Yeah, so they're just, like, off. That's kind of weird. There should be... Bitch. Should just be a, a fucking light switch, eh? Yeah. This is for this. There's really... I guess that's it, huh? Oh, well. Hey! I don't know what just spooked me. But, uh... <laughs> it's alright. Surely, yes. The one puzzle that I'm good at figuring out. Interact. Okay, what? Oh. Oh, I took it back. No, I want to put it in. Okay, this is definitely a family video at the amusement park. Like it said. What's that?
like the fucking ring tape, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get another hint, I bet. Hmm. Where is this? I feel like I'm gonna get fucking got from behind. Give me another clue. Where is this? And this is still going. It's like, oh, it's done. It just starts over. Okay. My first thought was maybe it was the boys' room that's upstairs? That looks like a like a D or an L. Yeah, it's the the crest of Loron, dude. What the hell? But it looks like there's like computers in the second shot. Yeah, there's a computer, clearly, right? And there's stools. And there's like a grate on the floor. I know it's still early, but if I get stuck, I'm not opposed to using a guide, honestly. This game is so fucking cryptic. Let's see the last one again. There's one. There's two. There's like two computers in there. And it's like a, like a school, maybe? And then it ended. I believe. Yeah, I might as well take it with me, I guess. Or no, do you think maybe I need to leave it in here for it to be active? That would just be another layer that we don't fucking need, to be honest, but... What's this? Glass of water. A key with an omega symbol. Wait. Shouldn't I be doing a chapter right now? Right? Key with an omega symbol. Ah. Uh, maybe that's kind of what the... Hey, fucking stop this. Because if I touch this, it's going to give me the same warning. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't work on the front door, does it? It's jammed? Yeah, so it's not gonna work. Huh. What the hell was that? Okay, well, maybe, uh, hmm, it's gone. I don't think this is where I need to go, but, hello, question mark, yeah, what's going on here? So it isn't here? Maybe? I don't think so. Let's just go. This goes to the bathroom. This is not the room that was in the videotape, though. At all. Oh, nice. Oh, this isn't... Okay. Not one of the collectibles, I guess.
I would think I'm on the right track. There's a computer in here or no? No. This is safe. Which I can't do anything with. Nothing indicates what unlocks it. That's probably not it, yeah. Unless you want me to go stumble around the basement for a half hour? I don't know. Holy fuck, it's dark. This is the garage, right. Uh, huh. I feel like maybe I have is this it oh it's a lighter okay not doing that that's another lighter the light bulb I can't take that oh this is one of those things where we have to slide it myself okay if I remember correctly isn't enough space? I did it before. Okay, that was weird. I think it's right here. Yes! Okay, this is the thing with the Lorder on symbol. L from Death Note looking ass thing? I don't know. What is this? Discord kitten's collar or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> now, where does this go? Oh, I need the... Oh, would you look at that? Hmm. I... I generally don't know what this is. Maybe if we make another loop around, I'll get some kind of hint. I don't know. TV still on? TV is still on. Yeah, I have that. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I restart it? Fuck. Hey. Standing in the light, everything's fine. <laughs> it kind of looks like they have this thing on the floor of the garage, but... Like the workbench, maybe? I don't know. That's all I get. Son of a bitch. There's another one here. Okay. Huh. You know what? Maybe... Hold on. I don't think this is the correct thing to do, but... No, I don't think I can even... No. <laughs> I 
I don't even know what it is, man. Oh, I can put a candle there. That's nice. It's a light bulb. I'll put a candle there too, but I don't have any. Whatever. See, to me, I can actually put a candle here. What is this? It's just a bottle. Looking for candles, man. Ripes, what's up, dude? See, to me... We only got like a second of it. That's the problem. It looked like it was just like this, and then the thing was... Like, under the desk, basically. That's what I took away from the videotape. You come in right when we're stumped. <laughs> and it didn't take long, man. This is, uh, dark as a motherfucker. This goes to basement. Only place I haven't really been, so... A chainsaw, nice. I just try to go phasma mode and crouch walk. <laughs> I don't want to go in the basement, to be completely honest with you. This is another way to the basement, right? Look at this thing that I have. Here, let me go show you. Actually, hold on. Let me show you the tape. Maybe you can make sense of this. So we had the tape that we got when we finished Lucy's chapter, right? It's like Family Amusement Park Day. This isn't even the beginning of it. Let me restart it for you. Right, so I did this. I have this. I just don't know where to put it. And then the other two scenes um, show what looks like a school or a lab or something. Isn't this weird? And the last one's just like another panning shot, but it goes sideways instead. And then it restarts. Yeah. So I watched this, right? And then I came down here and there was like a glass, uh, like a water glass with a... What are these? Nothing important, I guess. Um, there was a table with a glass right here. And it had a key in it with an Omega symbol on it. And I very conveniently remembered there was a spot upstairs in the garage that was hidden, like a hidden room that I had found earlier, and I used the Omega key, and in that box I got this, which is the first thing that it shows in the tape. But I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what, maybe, hold on. Because it was like Omega? So is it a H? Because it's supposed to go that way if it's the Omega symbol. But the thing on the the letter on the front of it, I have no idea what to do with this. And uh, I'm not going to sit through the entire thing again, but. Only place I haven't been to look is the damn basement. The storage room. Man, I hate this place. 
Like, I'm not opposed to looking it up, right? But... The hell's that? Rats, I guess. How do I get to the the TV room though? I don't exactly remember. Like unless there's something which I don't think. Ah, remember this? That old trick. The wardrobe spooky ghost guy? Those were the days, huh? What's this to go to? Oh, is a washroom? Okay, what's this? A brush or something? I... I have no clue, man. This goes to the breaker? No, it doesn't. Fuck, this goes to the garage! I will say, the game's very good at making you hear things. I thought somebody was behind me. Yeah, I have no clue either, man. Like, I can sit here and look at the damn tape all I want. I just get, like, three seconds of, uh... This is, yeah, this basically is. We're we're given we're giving grandma a little bit of a rest. This game is too confusing though, man. Yeah, dude, I'm actually trying to avoid standing in the dark for too long. I can get to the TV room from here. I just don't remember how. Grandma's house has a funny smell. I'm literally probably just going in circles. I think it's this way, isn't it? It is this way. Put the candle down, thank you. I'll turn these on, right? Yeah. Good, good, very good. I bet fucking. I bet the whole place smells kind of funny, to be honest with you. Can I theorycraft and visage at the same time? Maybe. Depends what we're asking. It's coffee. I mean, I'm... <sighs> this is the electrical room. Yes. This is where the breaker is. But I don't need the damn breaker, man. Come up with something? Alright, I got you, I got you. And this is where we were with Lucy. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'm not opposed to, to looking it up real quick, to be honest. I don't even know what the hell this is. And I, I do think it goes this way, though, because it's I got it from the Omega key. And if you hold it this way, it's the Omega symbol, not like, you know, uh, fuck. This way. So it's not an L. I think it is... This is jank. Oh my god. You get my point. I think it's an H. Or a B. Or something. But... You know, in the interest of time. Think about how long the first day that we played this. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I, I didn't want... Spoily, it's not spoily stuff, I guess, but I got this because I specifically
Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a good thing I looked. You know what the tapes are for? The tapes are for getting the good ending. But there's a lot of other stuff that I need to do. And, uh... Let me just see what this item does. The cryptic handle. Handle for the hatch that's shown in the video. What hatch, homie? Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Again. I might as well go get the piece I need. Now that we have it, you know what I mean? But... What's not so scary in D&D until they get the jump on you with prep time? Goblins! They had a goblin called the Ambusher? Oh, okay. Goblin. Okay. Okay, my first thought, right, when we say goblins is, uh, like, Diablo treasure goblins. <laughs> so what if, uh, he'd be small, but not... Hello. Why did that just turn on? I'm going the right way. Anyway, we can close this. This is where I need to be, by the way. He would be small, but not, like, Victor small. No, he would be, like, uh, in between, I suppose, of Sadako and Victor, maybe. Or maybe there would be, like, a goblin master. Look at this shit. <laughs> this is what I need this for. How was I supposed to... <sighs> this isn't even, like, uh, a main quest thing. Apparently, this leads me to items that, uh, get me the, the good ending. But we wouldn't have even known that. I thought I was doing a main quest thing. I don't know what to do from here, by the way. So, I'm not, like, actually trying to spoil it from the guide. I just... Okay. So, that makes sense, then, huh? We got computers. It was a lab. Okay, so I think maybe it would just be one goblin, right? But uh, he he could have like a I can go this way. Um, what the fuck? Why would I need to climb up here? Can I climb on this one? No. There's a lighter. I don't need any lighters. Thank you. We can't go that way. Okay. So he could have like a... Like a Victor... Um... Pounce. And when he does... He can steal the item from a survivor. Okay. And... Basically, when he would use them... They would work just like... Survivor items... There's probably nothing at all in any of these cabinets, so I'm not going to waste my time. Unless that's what the game wants me to do. Oh. Am I dying? I think I'm dying. Oh, shit. Can I... Fuck. Fuck, dude. This isn't, this isn't what the game wants me to do, for sure. Okay, I didn't really think about this. Can I... Oh, I can! Hey, that works. So anyway, they would, uh... Am I still dying in here, though? That's the problem. I think I am.
Fuck, man. What's this? Fire axe. Yeah, this is not good. Hang on. <laughs> I, I may have been dawdling a little too much. Let me out! Probably- yeah, I- no, I fucking know, man! <laughs> what do you mean the door isn't the way out? How about this door? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm genuinely giving it my all. I can't go under there. I'm gonna fucking die in here. So, but instead of, like, Franklin's, okay? How about here, huh? Oh my god, you're joking. So instead of, like, Franklin's, he gets the item himself. And, uh, the goblin, the ambusher, could use it. Oh, we have to do this more. Find something to light the passage first? Buddy. This is weird. This is real weird. Um, so like toolboxes, he could genuinely just use them on generators. And it would be like super efficient. Uh, not if, hello? Hello? What's going on? I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, so like it would, uh. Because I know like base regression's 100%, right? But it would like increase the, uh. The regression speed as long as he's using it. And it would have to be really good because it would keep him there, you know? Um. I think it would be kind of funny, too, if he would be able to blind survivors. <laughs> I don't know if that would be, like, feasible to... to pull off, you know what I mean? Because survivors are always just going to be on the lookout and running away from you. <laughs> but, like, imagine stealing a flashbang like that. Um... Yeah, that could be cool. Oh, we got footprints, okay. I still don't know what that is, eh? Um... Take a photo? I don't have the camera anymore. <laughs> I would if I could, man. Um... Where are we going? Are we going back to the... to the hole? The hatch? We stop here. Hmm. Suspicious. <sighs> yeah, you gotta go back to the van. <laughs> um... I'm standing in the dark, too. That's not good. Well, there's another splatter here, so I guess we're on the right track. Um, I don't know why I keep seeing flashes, too. That's really odd. So the med kits? I don't know what he could do to a med kit. Maybe maybe we wouldn't have to just be like inverse effects. Because like med kits wouldn't work like that, right? Maybe he could like... Like poison the med kit or something. Um... Yeah, what's this? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Really don't want to, like, have to look up the rest of this, but wait, what's that? Shoes. This is where we came from. Oh, man. 
man. <laughs> so, like, clearly the game wants me to go this way, though. That's what this is for. Yeah, maybe, like, uh... Med kits. I know Septic Touch already does this when you heal somebody, but like it'd be cool for med kits, I guess. Let's uh, let's go this way, I suppose. No, it's not the stuff I'm looking for. Um. Yeah, I was thinking, like, there could be add-ons, too. I was thinking, like, exhausted. When you get healed. Fuck this, man. <sighs> Frustrating. Why is this here, if I need to go here? Okay, fair. There is a handprint. There is a handprint. Alright, let's actually get on with the main quest. What other items am I missing? Um, It's toolboxes, flashlights, med kits. Um, keys, yeah. If the goblin picks up a key, I would want to say he could lock the... Let's do this. This is Rakan's chapter, I think. The all-seeing eyes, okay. Sketchy. I'll take this out just so it stops. I mean, if somebody were to bring a key and the goblin were to get his hands on it, since they're, you know, pretty powerful for aura reading, this is going to sound insane, but what if the goblin could just use the aura reading of the key, whatever add ons they happen to bring? And obviously, he'd probably have to have the same restrictions of, uh, of, uh, like, item usage, you know. Three wall hacks, yeah. But those get burned pretty fast, so, you know. I think I would want to keep it separate, too, though. Um, like, the, the item charges. No candles here. A lot of sanity pills, though. It's a closet. Um, for him and survivors, it would be different. What the hell? Okay, that's better. Rakan. I don't even know who Rakan is. I know he's the the guy in League. The stupid sexy bird man or whatever. This goes... Okay. That's this right here. That starts Nan's chapter. We don't want to do that. Wander around, wait for something to happen. It's that simple, I guess. Yeah, so there's our piece. Look at that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What? So yeah, that's... There's a candle here too, nice. You know what, I might as well. That's what I would do for his power, I think. I would make it so he can steal items. You know, because that's, that's what goblins are all about, you know? Okay, please place the candle. We're missing one thing, what?
Um, are we missing an item? I'm trying to think of perks. A lot of new killers are getting passives. Okay. That's a good point. Um, because Franklin's already lets you see the charges. Maps too, yeah. Um... I mean, killers already can see the auras of their totems, at least. Yeah, that's a good point, Ripes. It'd be kind of lame to just, like, see where the dull totems are, because, you know... I'm gonna have to think about that. What does that even turn on? Hey, that wasn't there before. So Franklin's already shows you the charges of items that are on the ground, I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't really want to give him Plunderer's Instincts. Not Plunder, Hoarder, sorry, the killer version. I wouldn't want to give him Hoarder as a... No! Okay. Yes, I do. Plunderer's Instinct's different. Plunderer's Instinct from Survivor's Side lets you see the chest auras that are nearby. Hoarder only gives you a notification when somebody interacts with a chest, okay? So, what if... As a passive, he... Okay, this is neat. What if for a passive, he had Plunderer's Instinct? So he could see the auras of all chests, right? Locked, okay. He can open chests himself and then booby trap them. Hello? Is that Nan? What's going on? Why is he naked? I mean, I'm not complaining, but like... This is interesting. This immediately has my attention. Yeah, and then he can like booby trap chests, right? And for it to be fair... It would be like, as soon as the chest is like 95% open, the survivor would have to let go before it finishes. Maybe 90, but you know, what once it's almost open. This? Who is this, by the way? It better not be what I think it is. Bastards. What is this? Who the fuck are you? I don't think this is me. I'm pretty sure I'm Dwayne. What was he eating? What is he cook? What was what's he cooking? <laughs> oh, I was thinking like injure. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a like a long incapacitate. Why not both? That would be huge. Maybe that could be an iridescent. The injure. Maybe I'm I'm my killer brain is thinking too much. There you are, little piece of crap. You think you can get me that easily, huh? Nice try, you fucks! What's he what looking for, like a microphone? Want, huh? I'm right here! Those little fucks. You think you can find one of me? He looks like he was in the military or something, like his haircut, and he's super, uh... jacked, you know? Maybe... This is me, because the gun that he just grabbed looked like the one at the very beginning. Where are we going, by the way? Okay. Okay, well, something's gonna jump out, definitely. Unless, am I in a... Oh, I'm in a... <laughs> it's an invisible wall. Interact, no, okay. Yeah, he could he could trap the the chests, but he has to get to them first. And that 
kind of sucks, maybe. Because, you know, survivors usually chest- Hey, fucker! Don't you fucking move, I swear to God! Chests are like a one-and-done thing, you know what I mean? Stop but he'd right be able there. to close them again. So... What? What is going on? Ah! Oh, shit! Okay. So now what? Is that thing after me? I don't know what to do next. Maybe we just, uh... Take the loop that we went in the, the videotape? Nothing here? Nothing from Rakan? Feel the same way when I get into Wesker game for the tenth time that day. This is not the way. This is not the way. But we did come back, right? We went this way. And then we went this way. Okay. Well. That was a freaky monster, though, man. <sighs> this this immediately has my interest. I was kind of like... We put on that quest about getting the... It's a piece of a mask, is what I, what I was after before. But, uh... Hmm. <laughs> I don't think doing the loop is the answer. So yeah, he would he would be able to that would be his his I mean if you want to call it a passive, I guess, but like he's just got two parts to his power. It's that simple. Just like Dredge. Dredge technically has uh has three, right? He's got the teleport to the lockers, he's got the remnant, and he's got nightfall. Yeah, the passive could be item still. And that maybe that could um no, if it was on basic attack, that'd be too strong. It would need to be his, uh... Like, we keep the leap thing going on here, so there's at least some skill involved. A counter to goblin is the item? What item? Bruh. What are we fucking doing? <sighs> so it doesn't turn demo obsolete. The item saves a health state, but gives the goblin a bit of, uh, a bit of power. Okay. Maybe that's a good idea. Build up a bar, um, and he can basically, like, rummage for an item. You know, so, like, once once all the survivor items are gone, he's not, like, completely useless, too. I'm not a game designer, so I don't think about balance and stuff like that. <laughs> Okay. I know where I need to go. And it is not down here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, uh, perks. Let's see. Perks, 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 perks. I mean, he's, uh, he's like an item guy, right? But we already have Hoarder. We already have Plunderer's Instincts. This is not the right way. 
There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. What the hell is this? Okay. Wait, were those lines there? I think I need to jab something inside here. That's a freaky... Wait, hold on. All right. Okay, now we've got another one that we touch. That makes sense. Um... I'm trying to think of, like, what perks already affect items. Whoa. Like, doctors, um... That's overwhelming presence, right? That's already a thing. Dr. Smith? Dr. Smith? Yes, sorry, I'm with you. I have the information you requested concerning the patient that came in tonight. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break-in. There are some minor bruises on his body, but they all seem self-inflicted. The police also interrogated the neighbor who called the police. She claims to have seen him tossing books from his bookshelves frantically, seemingly searching for something. And so many he typos. <laughs> tell. He refuses to answer most of our questions, claiming we already know the answers. He believes we're partly responsible for what happened. It's not really surprising. I took a look at his medical background, and he's had really bad cases of... Scopophobia. Exactly. What does that mean? Thanks, Tim. I'll go and see him right away. Of course. He'll be in the transit wing, room 323, until further notice. He seems agitated. So be careful. Thanks, Tim. Duly noted. Ah. Okay. This is odd. Oh, cool. Yeah, good to know. Yes, he does seem like he has that. There's something I can't even open that. Okay. Um. Once a survivor gets hit by a basic attack, they can't use their items for a certain amount of time. That's basically Franklin's, though. Call to employees. Code white in room three twenty. Code white. Code white in room three twenty three. Thirsty. Oh, I can't. 303. Starstruck, Kitty Perry. Um. What's this? Oh, it's like a soda can. I feel like I run really fast here. Is this 308B? No, this isn't where I need to be. I'm going to leave this for now. If a survivor doesn't have an item the killer can see you, that would destroy new players, bro. <laughs> that would be insane. I feel like I'm not following. This is where I was. Is there any sp spooky boys? Huh. I feel like I move really fast in here. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that sounds a little bit nicer. Use, uh, okay, fuck me. Reveal their aura when they're using an item, yeah. Yeah, and they gotta get tagged first, yeah. And you just, uh... <laughs> you basically just have lethal pursuer, think about it. The toolbox boys that spawn across a map from you <laughs> yeah i like that no i no please stop please stop 
That's a good idea. Teamwork. Since he's a goblin, I feel like I would want I would want some like mobility perk to come with him. Okay, maybe this is the right way. Exit, please. Ah, fuck. Can't believe I've done this. 302. We're going to 328. Jammed. Three oh eight B. Okay, well. Oh, these are connected. I see, I see. Hey. Yeah, dude. I have nothing. Is... Is somebody low-key closing the doors behind me? For that to apply to every killer, though, then... Every killer... Well, I mean... Yeah, it would just be, like, stacking, you know? I feel like that's okay, yeah. I was gonna say, because the goblin can open them himself. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Uh-oh. Okay. Hang on. I'm just gonna feel my way through, okay? I'm not gonna feel my way through. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a hex totem, yeah. And then... Um... Stop this. Can see all non hex totems. I mean, that's. Oh, here we go. Room 323. Yes, that's where I'm going. Call to security. Code white. Emergency okay. in room 323. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where I'm going. Don't worry. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Don't you dare touch uh, me, you fuck! I'm not giving you a bunch of a here, sir. <laughs> Give him the sedative. If I no! if I could whistle, I would whistle. Get off me! Do -do -do -do. I'm just minding my damn business, eating my damn food. I don't want none of that, but that's where I'm going. Okay, I've never seen this bit. I didn't even know that this was part of it, so... This is cool. At least we're making progress. Okay, you could probably break down the wall with the right tool. Okay. See, if Awakened Awareness didn't already exist in the game, I would say that would be a good perk for our goblin boy. Just, uh, if it was for him, I would change it a little bit. So, like, you, uh, you fucking, like, leap through the window. Like, you get a, like, a jumping head start or whatever. Stop this. Stop this right the fuck now. Yo. Oh, it's a lamp. Why am I scared of a lamp? 